Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Nikisha Low Motivates. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button. And this topic that I'm about to go into tonight is child sexual abuse. Now I heard recently in the media that there has been an increase in the amount of child sexual abuse cases here in Jamaica in light of the COVID pandemic and with the COVID policy that outlines that people are supposed to stay at home. Now, this simply means that the perpetrators are in the homes. And so when our children are at home, these predators have more access to them. No, sorry, it's really, really hot. This is something I'm very passionate about. Perhaps it's because I... I'm a survivor of, of, of child sexual abuse. But nevertheless, the very thought of children being hurt and molested and raped in this way by family members and our friends and relatives or even strangers sometimes, it is really sad. It is really heartbreaking. And I believe that this is something that we need to raise our voices on. I believe this is a topic that we are too quiet about it's not something that a lot of people like to speak about because it makes them uncomfortable and rightly so you should be uncomfortable if it is that you know that a child or even your children are being sexually abused whether it is by your husband whether it is by your boyfriend their stepfather their brother their sister their cousin it does not matter who the perpetrator is the point is, the fact is there is a problem if that child is being molested, if that child is being uh, sexually groomed, if that child is being raped in any way, shape or form, you have the responsibility to do something about it. Now, I understand that a lot of people feel fearful they feel shame as well so they don't want to talk about it they don't know how to bring it up they don't want to report it because they feel that nothing will get done and a lot of times really nothing gets done but you still cannot sit back and do absolutely nothing if it is that you do not want to get the police involved at least get that child or those children some help get them out of the abusive environment and see how best you can help them to start healing because trust me there are scars that so many of us as grown women are still bearing as a result of being abused as children that we have not yet healed from that we have not yet even addressed a lot of us and so we are still suffering no no child deserves to have their childhood taken away from them by an adult because who knows better should do better and these predators who are in the homes are even in the churches in our workplaces wherever they are lurking you are sick you need help you need deliverance because you are obviously operating under a spirit of sexual perversion you need a heart surgery. You need to be stopped. You need to be arrested. You need to be dealt with and you need to repent because what you are doing, it is wrong. It is sinful and it is never just a little sex. Imagine you being molested by someone, being raped by someone. And you know, for a lot of persons, I know I can't say imagine because you too were victims as a child. And so you grew up not having dealt with that situation. And so you became perpetrators, you became predators and you started doing the very thing that was done to you. You need help. You need help and you need to stop molesting our children. You need to stop raping our children. You need to stop sexually grooming our children. And for parents and our guardians who know of situations in which the children are being molested, raped or harassed in any way sexual, you have a responsibility to do something about this. You have a responsibility to do something about this. And God is going to charge you if you know of these things and you refuse to do anything about it. Children are a heritage from the Lord. They were given to us as a gift from the Most High to protect, 
to love and to care for and to nurture, not for us to hurt and to play out our sexual perverted actions on them because it is perverted. It is depraved sexual abuse. It is all those things and more. You are stealing a child's innocence that they will never ever be able to get back and not to mention the spiritual implications of that of that spirit of abuse spirit of sexual abuse being attached to that child if they don't get help from early and when i say help i mean help in the form of uh counseling help in the form of deliverance uh through the power of the holy spirit and parents if your child or your children or some child that you're looking after says to you that mommy, daddy, uncle, whomever, I was abused. So and so raped me or molested me or touched me inappropriately. Don't offhandedly tell that child that he or she is lying. Look into it. Investigate it. Ask them questions. When did this happen? Where? You know, how often did it happen? You know, what, what, just ask them questions, allow them to feel comfortable being able to share and then take them to the doctor to have a physical exam. If, if it is something that is recent or even if it's not recent and you know that the child is young and that child's virginity should still be intact, get them examined. And if it is something that they say happened years ago, get them some help. Even if it's recent too, get them help, get them counseling. Take them out of the abusive environment if that is possible. Get them away from their abuser if that is possible. Report the matter to the police and to the relevant authorities. And if you're not getting justice there, take it to the Lord in prayer. And don't let prayer be a last resort. Because you have so many people out here who are hurting. Men and women and even children even now. Who are currently hurting as a result of child sexual abuse. And I think I'm going to end the video shortly. And I'm, I'm just imploring everyone. End the silence. Break the silence when it comes on to child sexual abuse. And in order to help women to heal uh, we are having, and when I say we, I mean myself, Whitney Rochester and Stephanie Hayes. You can find us on Instagram. We are having a workshop that's going to be next week, Saturday, actually. And you can find the details of that or rather the link in the description box below for you to click, sign up and be a part of this venture. Of course, it is not free and there's a small fee attached to it. And for women who know that you have dealt with child sexual abuse as a child and you are now an adult and you haven't dealt with it, you haven't healed, we are here to help you to do just that. So be sure to click the link below in the description box and sign up and be a part of this initiative. And once again, pay attention to your children, observe them, know when they are themselves develop a relationship with them so they are able to talk freely with you about anything no matter how big or how small it may be all right guys so please look out for our children look out for our, ch our children believe them when they tell you that someone has hurt them or is hurting them believe them and if you don't believe them do your own investigations but don't let that child feel as though it is his or her fault and that they are lying when they know that something has happened to them that has changed them tremendously so guys take care of yourself remember to like and share my videos remember to subscribe to my channel and Share this video with someone who you may think will will benefit from it. And if you're hearing the crying in the background, that's my daughter. So I'm going to end this video now. All right, guys, take care.